Welcome to the first first battle of my let's play featuring Nagaoka in um, in the uh, what is it? Follow the samurai, of course, obviously. Now during the loading screen, I saw I had a little nice hill on this side, which is good for me because uh, he has better melee units than me. He has the Yardi Kachi, which are basically samurai units, and I only have Ashigaru units or spear levy, as in this game. However, I believe I can still form them up as a spear wall, unless that's been removed. So, this hill will help me a lot. Now, there we go. That's pretty much the way I want it. Yes, excellent. Now, I can put my uh, levies right behind because it is a hill. However, actually this is a bad place to put them. My spear units, that is. That is uncrossable territory. Great. There we go. That's better. This way I can shoot over the heads of my own guys. There we go. Excellent. Now, this will be a very difficult battle, I feel. I do not think I'll win this. At least I'm not 100% confident that I will. But we'll see. I may be able to surprise him a bit. Who knows? This is an excellent offensive position. Now, if only there was a good way to place these guys. There we go. It's actually, it's actually not a good way to place them. That's uh, not good either. Come on. There we go. That's good enough. Now, if he does flank around this way and come up here, which I think he might be able to, then I'm going to keep a uh, my spear levy, or um, now my Yarikachi, that is, my Yari Samurai, in uh, reserve, along with my general. Okay, let's see how this goes. To defend, sir. Now, for some reason, these guys can't stand in spear wall anymore, can they? Can my Yarikachi? Nope. So they just removed that. Okay, that must be in a recent ready. patch because uh, that was a great ability. I know that the Yari Ashigaru in the normal game can do that, but oh uh, well. Guarding. I'm placing them in guard mode, that way they don't break formation and the enemy can't just uh, attack over here, clamp all my guys over here and then sneak around and uh, creep up and take out my gunners. Now the distance is quite... well, as you can see my line infantry can't actually shoot that far, they can shoot to, this, to right here I think, yeah, that's it, yep. Oh well. Okay, to here. Okay, so they have quite a nice range. But the point of this is that they can actually shoot at people who will be bunching up right here. And that's the point. Now, I want to have my general actually a bit closer. Just close enough to make sure my spear levies don't run away. And that's what the blue circle is. There we go. Encourage general nearby. Excellent. Now, if it does come into range to this levy infantry, I'll just move my general back again. Actually, you know what? I can just place my general like this. And most of these spear levies will be able to shoot. Excellent. Okay. Now, I don't like this fog. I hate fog. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Can't do anything about it. Now, in addition to having better melee units than me, this guy has better shooter units than me, better gun units than me. He has a line infantry. He has, uh, I think, three units of line infantry, while I only have one. Not to mention that he has more people than me. He has two more units, so about 400, 400 people more than me. And more generals, but um, all my melee units are spare units, so that doesn't really matter. The only real advantage I have, well, the, I have two big advantages, actually. I have this hill, which is excellent. 
And I have my naval bombardment. Now his general is doing the flanking thing that I told you about earlier. But you know what, that's fine because I'll just use my... Sp yeah, once I did that, he started to stop moving. And there we go. The unit that I placed over here, they actually managed to fire. Which is... And his general unit is decimated. And he's running into a spear unit. That's kind of a stupid move if you ask me, but... Oh well. Now he is flanking around this way, I think. Because this, I left this way open. This is, uh, you know, kind of a trap if you want. Because I'll send my best melee unit this way and take him out there if it comes to that. Now, my spare levies are just standing there getting shot back. That's just the way it has to be for now. I want to lure as many of his people into melee as possible with one of my melee units. That way I can sacrifice that unit and use naval bombardment on them. On the enemy, that is. That is uh, Yarikachi. That unit is not going to last long. Alright, excellent. This is a good spot for the first artillery strike. Now, my uh, levy infantry is actually in range. That, that's fine. Okay, that's too quick. Don't run away just yet. I need to send my Yarikachi down somewhere. Yes, excellent! <laughs> ah, it wasn't good enough, but... Uh, oh well. And my... All my melee units are shattered. And my line infantry is wavering. Okay, they're fine now. I don't want my line infantry to be the first ones uh, into the battle. I want them to be the last guys. That to be the last guy shooting. Now, I dismounted my general because he has Yardi Kachi. And uh, Yardi units are very good. Spain is very good against cavalry, which any Total War fan would know. But I believe this is a lost battle. Your general is under attack. Unless I can get the second naval bombardment anytime soon. But yeah, he just has so many, many more and better units than me. More melee units. Just put these guys on the top of the hill, why not? Come on, 40 seconds. And I actually made his Yarikachi run away. But I didn't uh, shatter them. It's fine though. I'll send my general to attack the Mashakachi, why not? Oh, and they're shattered. Excellent. Excellent. My Yarikachi on this side are actually holding out very well. I'm uh, very proud and surprised about that. Then again, they are fighting downhill. Oh, and uh, one of my horses got shot. That scared him off. 10 seconds, come on! Now I know it's a big risk, risking my own Yarikachi. But I don't really feel like I have a choice. Although... I can just send my... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll send my levy infantry into the melee. Excellent. And I'll send my Yarikachi back, let them... a little rest. Because they're very tired. And uh, units do not, do not fight well at all when they're tired. It's a very bad state for them to be in. Nice um, general is coming. Please get killed by the artillery. No. 
Oh, that hit mostly my own guys, but... Ah, oh, that was a couple of excellent hits right there. Nice, nice. I charge down and destroy the remnants of his little... Of his troops. Meanwhile, my general is running off of these guys, okay. That's uh, daring. Levy that I need to destroy. And they're wavering already. Excellent. Now, my the thing I'm worried about right now is that his general will run and attack my general. That would suck so bad. I actually need to pull back my own general. Because uh, there's not that many left of him. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Just uh, keep shooting. Doing your thing. My well, Yarikachi yeah, are very tired. When they get exhausted, I don't think they'll be able to pull very long. However, uh, I am within. I'm so close to his general. Yes! Get his general! I can inspire my uh, Yarikachi, which I will do. Excellent. Oh, and uh, his journal is running away. Excellent, excellent. Everything is uh, going great. I believe I actually have won this. It's not over yet, of course, but I believe it's looking good. These guys are getting shot in the sign and they don't like that at all. Wavering, come on, run. Run. I've done line every other sign here, I'm not too pleased about. Come on, run away, please. These guys are just pounding my Yarikachi. However, I must say, my Yarikachi has held up very well in this battle. Ah, and they're running. Excellent, now just get that unit, and my shooters will get this guy. Kill them. Now, in, in previous games, it was not a very good idea to press, you know, attack on an enemy unit, because uh, your units will just start moving around, but in this game, they actually start shooting before the whole unit is in position, so it's an excellent way of uh, doing this, and there we go. They're running away, and these guys are running away. I am victorious. Yes! I did not think I would win this battle, but I got a an excellent defensive position and I got Victory just is assured, a sir. couple of nice bombardments. Scared them off. And I held my best units in the reserve. So Yeah, once again I will not make you watch me chase down the enemies, even though it is quite fun to watch these guys die in slow motion. But yeah, I will see you back on the campaign map after this guy dies.